I know Chiggs is in here recording this. No Chiggs moved in here, right? So whatever you oh, say. Sorry, you know Chiggs gonna have, have everything up there. Whatever you say, Chiggs gonna be on YouTube with it, man. This is downright disrespectful. This is nastier than Nicki Minaj's Bigfoot diss track to Megan Thee Stallion. This is why there's certain people that you just shouldn't beef with. China Mac is taking a page out of Cameron's book. Now you guys remember a couple weeks ago, Cameron trolled Melissa Ford by putting her face on a pair of customized pants. He made sure the mouth aligned exactly where his zipper goes. Today, it was Adam 22's turn. I'm sure you guys remember this iconic face from her scene with Jason Love, making sure Adam 22 never forgets when another man violated his wife in front of millions. Now China Mac is currently out in Asia right now. I believe he's in Vietnam right now showing some content but he has not forgotten his beef with Adam 22. I fell in love with Vietnam I'm not gonna lie. Oh beautiful city, beautiful people, the food is amazing. I'm having a great time man. Vietnam. What's up baby? After Adam snaked them and pretty much paid off Crip Mac to speak out negatively on China Mac, they have not been on best of terms. Now as disrespectful as those shorts are, I got a strong feeling Adam22 will probably take this as a compliment. A guy who has publicly let two men have their way with his wife, I personally don't think he's gonna be bothered by the pictures on the shorts. Unfortunately for Adam, these types of disrespect are what happens when you sell your soul, dignity, self worth all for money that you most likely don't even need. You guys get in the comments below, tell me what you guys think about this disrespect by China Mac. Would you guys actually cop these shorts? China Mac actually tease making merch out of them. Post comments below, subscribe to my channel, like this video. I'll see you guys later. Now lately, I've been hearing a lot of slander, false accusations, trying to tarnish my good name. Allow me to retort, Mr. 22. See, ever since the black cloud has rained down upon the 22 offices in Burbank, I've seen a shift. A shift in what, you may ask? A shift in you, my brother. I am concerned, concerned of your well-being because when I look into you, past the tattoos, past the cookery, I see a sad, sad little boy. And instead of responding with negativity, I want to respond and say, my brother, you should consider finding God. Why God? Because a wise man once told me that if you take one step towards God, God will in return take 16 steps towards you. 